that's my business, I'll think of one. Furious, because I never leave your side, challenges me to a fight. When we choose our weapons, you man. imagine it, a duel by moonlight in a spinny during supper. Conversation disrupted by the sound of pistol shots. They tell the orchestra to stop. They all troop into the park with their lanterns and hurricane lamps. And you, your wits crazy luck. You do fairly understand your crazy luck, don't you, Isabel? You jump into the lake. You swim, my imagine. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You've got feet, the lake's no depth. And I shall be there. I'll fish you out, drive you back to land, Lay you streaming with water on the grass at my brother's feet and say to him, There, you did this. Then, if he doesn't love you after that, he has more resistance than I have. You're looking rather dubious. <laughs> Don't you enjoy bathing? <laughs> I'll check for your pee. I'll buy you a new dress. Oh, come along now. Be a good girl. Agree to it to please me. I'm enjoying myself so much, and it's not often that I do. <sighs> Frederick! You go, if you please. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm not blushing. The one who doesn't blush is Hugo. Remember that. You may find it useful. Are you looking for him? I thought it was Frederick, that girl in his arms. As it was you, it's quite different. I apologize. Have you seen him? Of course. Everyone has seen him except you. He wanders like a soul in pain through this desert of gaiety. Why? <laughs> Are you looking to satisfy yourself that you've well and truly broken his heart this evening? I don't want to break anyone's heart. That wouldn't amuse me at all. By the way, I was in the park yesterday and one of you kissed me. Frederick swears it wasn't him. I lied so that he shouldn't be upset. But I know it was you. It's the kind of joke I detest. Yesterday, in the park? What time? Don't pretend not to remember, Hugo. After dinner. After dinner? You must be mistaken, my dear. I was playing billiards with Patrice Bonnet. Frederick swears it wasn't him. Then it must be some other son of Adam making the most of some vague resemblance to us. It's wrong to play with your brother's heart, Hugo. It's too cruel. Even if you loved me, even if your love were too strong to control. But it isn't too strong to control, is it? You put me in an impossible situation, Diana. I'm obliged to say, no. I hate you! You as well. I'm not very popular this evening. Have you seen Patrice Bombell? I gather he's looking everywhere for me. Funny, he didn't take to see me in the little girl's arms either. He's mad about her. I didn't know. Well, suppose I should have guessed because everybody seems to be. I think she's very enchanting. And looks very pretty in that dress, moreover. Don't you think so? Well, goodbye. Should I tell Frederick you're looking for him? Thank you very much. I'll find him myself. Well, dear. Did you hear him? Did you hear how he was mocking me? No, I didn't. Really, things are beginning to go so wrong. You think we have no money at all. Please begin setting about making me happy again at once. What's the matter? You said you wanted that boy Frederick, and I bought him for you. Is he trying to get out of it? He didn't buy him for me. He loves me. But his brother is laughing at me. Well, I can't give you both of them. Not because I'm not rich enough, but it isn't the custom. Any <laughs> whichever you prefer. You're not rich enough to buy me the one I prefer. That's why I took the other one. Not rich enough. Don't put me in a rage. Well, that's what's happening to me. And it's Hugo who's making it happen deliberately, I'm certain. I'm certain that he invited this girl here, and she's trying to make Frederick lose interest in me. And Hugo, the cold, impersonal Hugo, who never looks at anyone, never takes his eyes off her. I'm beginning to think I wasn't here at all that everyone's making such an air of not looking at me that I know I must be. Mm. It's bad enough to be looked at as though you weren't there. But it's terrible, terrible not to be looked at as though you were. So please, set about making me happy again. Who is this girl? I can do almost nothing with a young girl. Roman B's niece. Which is Roman B? He's the one that looks like he's got on a horse to catch butterflies. 
But where does this money come from? He's a company director, like all the rest of them in well, here. Well, what does he seem to be in? The steel, I, cement, no, queso, nuts, spark, pickles, no, emulsion, it, tire, the shoe tray, sewing machines. No, I think he said something about pig iron. <laughs> pig iron? <laughs> Lead me to him. What do you want me to do with him? Do you want me to make him send her away at the height of the ball? Oh, do you think you can? Caught them all in the palm of my hand. I lift a finger, and their incomes are only half as much. I'm afraid that's impossible, Father. Here's a hey, penny and pig iron. Nothing is impossible. Sir! Sir! I was looking for you. <laughs> yes, I want to speak to you. I just in the park yesterday. Lady Dorothy India, my cousin. 